The ultra straight champ has come home. Back it up. Chet Sterling. Like, it's not even a contest. Yeah, not even. And it's not Thanksgiving, but you know what I'm thankful for? That O'Connor roll. But I'm also thankful that, that goof Tommy Thomas is here. Absolutely. Dude, last time I spoke with him, he was in deep denial he has anything to do with Ethan Case. I'm not buying it, but I'm just glad he's not here. A lot of rumors circulating about that partnership, and if it will even continue, you got to think that Ethan Case cannot worry about that now. As he has got a chance to do what very few in CWF have ever done, and that's become a double champion. But he's facing a double champion right now. What are the odds? And Chet Sterling has defended both the Mid-Atlantic Television title and the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team titles with Trevor Lee admirably, even on multiple occasions, has defended both belts in the same night. And Trevor Lee, we should point out. Oh, we got a Yes, we do. Shoulders down. Representing CWF with a fall as we take this event. Yes, he is. CWF Mid-Atlantic stars. Traveling far beyond the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium, much like CWF Worldwide. All around the world. Travels all around the world, wherever you are. We thank you for joining us. Week. We hope that you will follow us on Twitter, oil. at CWF Mid-Atlantic. We hope that you will like us on Facebook, at CWF Mid-Atlantic. And boy, Ethan Case's face just ate some canvas. Shoulders down. Nice three-quarter nails into a cover there. Gotta wonder if Case is aware of the 10-minute television timeline. 
and if he has prepared, you know, we didn't know until we got it just moments ago. We didn't know if it was going to be for the Ultra J title, which carries that 30 minute time limit, or if it was the television title that carries the 10 minutes. And I think Chet always comes prepared to kind of end things in about 10 minutes or less. It, just, it gets kind of ingrained into your brain as team champion. But Ethan, there's generally a 30 minute time limit on Ultra J title matches. We'll see his preparedness. Oh, oh, go behind. Nice cover, roll up. Of course, just moments ago, we saw Dave Dawson and Brandon Day fight the full 10 minutes of their time limit. Not unusual for the television title. Oh, but Sterling is going for the win here. Not unusual to see that those television title matches go the full 10 minutes and into the draw. But Chet Sterling, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sterling hit the buckle hard. I was going to say, Chet Sterling has been one of the champions that has relied on that 10 minute rule to save him the least of any champion I can ever recall seeing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Nice slow kick out of cover. Brad, you're always sweating like a Baptist preacher in a liquor store, brother. Hot lights of the Mid-Atlantic Fortatorium shining down on these two tremendous athletes. That's a so good. Ethan Case has been the International Ultra J Champion ever since last October when he unceremoniously knocked out Lance Liu to win punch. that title. Yes! Man, he is ragtagging Chet Sterling here. Yeah, yeah Ethan Case is a tremendous man. professional wrestler. He's very much a hybrid. Wrestles that junior heavyweight style, obviously, quick and fast, but he can also strike. He can yes. also fight. He can also go on the mat. Oh, oh, got some prize there. Ethan Case can do it all. Oh. And he's very misleading because you look at him, he's got a very thick set. You know, that sounded weird, but you know what I mean? He's kind of a, a thick body guy, but with the cover, he still falls under that junior heavyweight limit. It's very strange. Physically, he kind of reminds me of Eric Embry a little bit from back in the world class days. That's a very apt comparison. Grinding the elbow in between the shoulder blades now is Ethan Case. No. I'm just glad he's not wearing that gaudy jacket anymore. That thing is as bright as the Carolina Sun. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> can bring ships from sea into that jacket. Cover. He's really dominated the action here. Yeah, he has. And, you know, I almost wonder, you know, the 10 minute time limit, who does it favor? Does it favor? Oh, you know, we're, we're halfway there. Sterling is used to that television time limit. He's grown accustomed to it. Ethan Case, on the other hand, like we touched on earlier, has grown accustomed to longer time limit matches as he travels the globe defending the Ultra J Championship. No you know one what? in this building is TV ready more than Ethan Case. Oh, he got caught! Oh, he got caught too! He, he was clapping caught. his gums too much. In the case, says he is on a quest for contract, and you just heard him say, "Nobody is more TV ready than me." Oh, Chet, he's finally starting to get some stuff together. So much tenacity that Chet has shown in recent title defenses. Victory roll. We're gonna get a little WrestleMania 10 action here. No, he got it. Two, two. I love a good victory roll. Almost got him. Back slide, maybe? Or carry on Eric, perhaps? Oh, no, he didn't get it. Oh, low angle cutter from a seated position. And Ethan Case looking happy, admiring his work there. Goes for the cover. Only got two. And I get the feeling if he had come from a full standing position, he would have gotten the pin there. Well, you know, the Ultra J division in a lot of ways is really about innovation and, and putting unique little twists on moves and holds like that. Oh, oh, God, he kicked his face off of him. Ethan Case tried for everything he could to put the brakes on, but he couldn't happen fast enough. Physics got Ethan Case just now. Yes, and physics is undefeated, my friend. Yes, it is. Man, his face just flew into the next county. Gibsonville, North Carolina, in the shadows of the Greensboro Coliseum. 100% behind the Mid-Atlantic Television Champion, who they have adopted as one of their absolute favorites. And look at Sterling go. And this is why. Because he just has such tremendous fight and tremendous heart. 
Just set up a hard whip in the corner. Really hard. Woo! He launched himself across the ring. Sterling. Oh, he got it. Boom! Two! Woo. They collided. Sterling got the better of it, but both men are dazed. Sterling's got to watch himself here. Remember, Ethan Case has nothing on the line. He has got nothing to lose, everything to gain. Sterling has got everything to lose. It's his title, the Mid-Atlantic Television title that's on the line right now. I know he would never think of it, but I would think about trying to ride the clock out if I'm Chet Sterling. So we will see a lot of television champions, you know, as their title reign progressed, they became more accustomed to using the clock to their advantage. We've seen it corrupt a lot of otherwise fighting champions as they try to hold on to that championship. And I saw Ethan, he glanced up at that clock. Absolutely, clock is on the Sawyer Tron. Oh, big knee right to the face. And once again, the underrated striking game of Ethan Case. And yeah, I mean, once you've knocked a guy out with one punch, you've got a striking game. Caught him. Oh, second ace crusher got all of it that time. Two. Man, Ethan Case was almost a double champion. And I can only think he's taken so many of those cutters in the last few months. He's just built an immunity to it almost. He was almost a double champion, but Sterling is still fighting. Man, and Ethan, that's he doesn't normally go up top. That's not his home. Oh man, what do we got? Real dangerous whenever both men are on the top like this. I've seen some awkward and horrible falls off those ropes of guys landing awkwardly on their head or neck or spine. They're duking it out. We may get... Oh, heads up, heads up. Oh, right in the chest. He just jacked him. Hey, fires. No, it's reverse. No, he stopped short. Yes, he did. Duck. They're still going here. Duck again. Oh, he caught him again. That's going to be all. That's going to be all. He's going to win the title. Two. Oh. What would it take to keep Chet Sterling down? 30 seconds are left in the time limit. Three ace crushers have not been enough. But Ethan Case is smiling. Slice bread. No. Backslide. Hold on. Two. Got it. Chet Sterling wins again. Pulled it from the jaws of defeat. And look at the look on Ethan Case's face. Chet Sterling continues to be the man in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. 48 seconds. You will by Penfall. And still, CWF Mid-Atlantic Television Champion. Oh, what is Ethan Case doing? Well, Chet Sterling is still the man in CWF, whether Ethan Case likes it or not. What a sore loser. Case continuing to attack Sterling after the bell. Well, rather. Ethan Case, whether you like it or not, Chet Sterling is still the man in CWF Mid-Atlantic. We will see you next week on CWF Worldwide. We will see you next week for Battle Bowl.